Alrighty. You ready? You ready? I'm ready. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> um, welcome to Codependent Knitters podcast episode six. Six. Wow. Episode six. Episode six. My name is Lisa, and this is my codependent Don. Yes, and we're call- we're from Sarnia, Ontario, and uh, we love to knit, but we have a problem. We love to knit. We have a problem. <laughs> Well, it's not really a problem, per se. It's, it's the best kind of problem. I know. You meet the best friends that way. Absolutely. So true. That's true. So how do you want to start today? Do you want to start with our FO? Yeah, we're going to try and keep it a short episode today. We wanted to talk about um, our visit to the Kitchener Waterloo Knitters Guild Fair. Um, we do have a couple of FOs and whips, so we'll just touch on those briefly. Um, and then we'll get to the fair, which for me, we'll talk about the fair, but for me, I... I acquired a lot more yarn than I'd planned to, um, so we'll, I'll try and go through it quickly. But there are some indie dyers in there, and I really wanted to feature them and talk about them and give them some exposure to our, you know, our small but loyal audience. So um, we'll do that, and and then yeah. we'll probably wrap it up. I think we're going to keep it really short Just today. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Sound good? Sounds, yes. Okay. Yes. So, so FOs. Do you want me to start? Yeah. I can start with my... You start. Where did it go? You had it. Oh, okay. So the last episode we did, I did. I finished this shawl. It is the Wellington Workshop Work Sock Shawl <laughs> by Sam Lamb. Talk about rhyming, eh? Yeah. So I blocked it, and it looks it beautiful, looks amazing. I am so happy with it. It's triangular, and it has that work sock yeah. style, and it's warm and it's toasty. Um. I love it. I was in the car and I just needed something to occupy myself. So I didn't really concentrate on gauge, it. but I, I like the way it turned out. It's really perfect nice. Size. I like the fabric. Um, but then I liked it so much and it was one of those knits you don't have to think about that you can just pick up, put down, pick up, put down. So I made... It's very warm today. <laughs> it's warm in my office. I have the air crap. I made number two. <laughs> so it's... <laughs> Yeah, so I made number two. two in a slightly different color. It's a little and, bigger. Well, is you it? know, it's it's um loose, it's, it's drapier. It's drapier. So I love big shawls because I'm always mm-hmm. cold, so it's kind of nice. I'm I really happy. Big, big big shawls that I cannot, cannot lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need help. So I love big is, shawls too. <laughs> yeah, so this I totally I love it just as much as the other one. And same yarn. The same yarn, this, different color. This is a marl. Okay. Did you use the same needle size? No, this is a six, and that was a four. Uh, millimeter. Sorry, a, I used a six millimeter on this one, and that was okay. a five millimeter. That's why we have a difference in drape. Right. It's and always it's, kind of, it's always nice to... Classic wool. Yeah. Classic wool by Pattons, and this is the marl color. That's the charcoal gray. Same cream, same red. Nice. Yeah, so I figure... Don't anybody in my family look at them right now, because I might give that one for <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> I might have to make one. And you and, loved it so much. And I loved it so much. And I really like to way, see patterns the way they change with colors and different colors and stuff. So now I'm making a number three. I like it with the light gray. So it's kind of nice with the light gray. So we'll see. I mean, I don't think I'm going to use red. I'm going to use different yarn. colors. Same yarn, just uh, light marl as well as dark marl. How many skeins of the gray? Uh, they were both one and a half. One and a half of yep. the gray. And then obviously... Did you yeah, get same. two shawls out of the cream? Oh, yeah. And, and so obviously I can the get the third out of the cream, too. That's very affordable. It is. It's affordable. Yeah. It's easy. And uh, they're like really it. comfortable. They're warm and toasty. This is very warm. <laughs> it's it is. so warm in fashion. Just, yeah. So it's it's been kind of neat. It's, love it. And like I said, it's one of those things where you can just put it down, do it, pick it up while you're waiting for the toast yes. to pop, Noel. Um, you can, you know, while you're waiting for somebody to do something, and yeah, yeah it's kind of nice. Very nice. It works so well. I love it. Good job, Sam Lamb. Good job, Sam Lamb. I have That's my good. shawls done. Love it. So this is the one I had in progress. Oh, look, you got to get the... Let's try this. <clears throat> the colors. Yeah. That's a little trick. Where'd you learn that one? I saw it on someone's podcast, putting oh, something look at that. Well, putting something white to help prevent the color from blowing out, which is, I tried it before we started and it's not totally working with just the yarn skeins, but it's, it helps keep yeah. the, 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 not water, 
light from going through the that also stops us the from fabric. peeking through it. Yeah. So oh, this is Zilver by Lisa Much, Northbound Knits. Northbound Very knit, Northbound soft. Knitting. Northbound Knitting. Yes. Northbound Knitting. Yes. Which is calls for fingering weight, and our friend Noelle did it in this yarn, which is an Aran weight. That's nice. This is Blue Moon Fiber Arts, and it's the Peru base. Which that was has, a huge skein. Did you use half the skein? Or? I used up almost all of it. Wow, I just, okay. I kept going. Okay. So it's the Peru base. I didn't write it down. It's got alpaca it in it. It is alpaca. Merino. Merino. And silk. And silk or cashmere. I'm not sure. So, but it's super soft. And the colors are really pretty. There's Sorry, I'll olive, put it on the screen. There's an olive purple and the yeah, it looks kind of favorite blue. It's, see, this okay. is good. It's dark like this. It was looking yeah. kind of light when I held it up, but it is. And it's, it's super dark. soft. Super super. It's soft. so soft. This is very nice yarn. I keep squishing it in my fingers. <laughs> it's, it's a nice. big skein um, of Aran weight, mm -hmm. and it's this was all one skein. So you get a lot of yardage in the one skein. No, it's it's. Nice. And this was more than enough. Um, with this pattern, I was looking at other people's projects. And it starts out here. <laughs> no, I need to show this part. <laughs> but it's so nice. It starts, out, <laughs> the way. it starts out up here, and some people were knitting it, and they said it they it looked like a kite. And so when they blocked it, they didn't pull this out flat. Mm -hmm. um, and I was worried about that, but no, I blocked it. I used wires actually for all the edges, and I ran a wire up the center. Oh, nice. So I'd have a nice straight line. If I keep doing these shawls, man, I'm gonna have to get some blocking wires. I tell you. Oh, they're so easy. Yeah, you just I'll put the wire time. through, and like you have to only have to pin it a couple places to hold the wire. The wire okay. doesn't work, so it's so That's easy. Cool. Yeah, you don't need a hundred pins. Oh, I'll have to get that. But wire. I just did that to keep it, so I wouldn't have that kind of meandering path <laughs> down the center. Lovely. Okay. Do you have a Love problem it. with your cat? Um, I have several problems with my cats. <laughs> well, anytime there is wet or damp wool in my house, the cat is on it. We've got like this yeah. huge section on an on our, on our island, you know, the big. So I usually dry mm -hmm. things there because it's huge, and he's not allowed on the counter. He doesn't go on the counter unless there is wet wool. If there is wet wool, he is on it. I think it's and the... he rolls in it. Yes. Like yeah. My so when I did my first big shawl, which was mm -hmm. Lily Pilly, oh, that was which is too. like I don't know forty feet long. So I was doing <laughs> it on the floor initially, and then my knees couldn't take it, so I ended up moving it up. But I was working on it on the floor, and I was pinning one end. And I looked up, and my cat is all right? it's rolled like up like a sausage in the other end. I like think it's just the smell you. of the wet. Yeah, must be. It's not fur, the must wet wool, yeah. um, the wet fiber. And yeah, mine like that too. Mm -hmm. But they haven't. They didn't bother this one. Must um, be the alpaca. Maybe. But I also pulled, I had it on my dining room table, oh, and right. I pulled all the chairs away Out. so they okay. couldn't. Very they cool. can jump, but the one that I think really likes it is too old, and she can't jump up that high. So. So I'm really happy with this, and this is beautiful yarn. Um, I got it at Feather Your Nest in Sarnia, mm -hmm. and she was at the Kitchener Show, and she had a lot of the Blue Moon fiber there, mm -hmm. and she was the only one. She was the only one that the I only saw one that had, was, it, yeah. had the Blue and Moon it's fiber. Really, really nice. It's you beautiful. Can, yeah. She had many different bases. She had worsted, like the Targi worsted. I love the Targi. It's more of a, it was a heavy worsted too. Yeah. Yeah. And she had the socks that rock. Mm -hmm. um, so she's going to be at the Woodstock Fleece Festival, Yay. and I'm I'm sure she will bring oh, yeah. Blue Moon Fiber Arts there again. Mm -hmm. So um, if you have never seen this fiber, um, check it out if you're going to Woodstock for sure. And it's not a yarn I see at a lot of, not it's that I've not. been to a lot of yarn shops, but the shops I've been to. I haven't seen it. You don't feel it as nice that I've seen it. In. Yeah. So this was a totally unexpected just because our friend had done one in the same base, and I loved it. So... I would like to do one in a worsted too, because that's a nice pattern. This is easy. It's just it's just stocking stitch, and this isn't even really. I wouldn't even call it lace on the on the pearl it's more row. It's a texture. It's a texture on the pearl row back. You just do a yarn over, knit two. To, no, you don't even do a yarn over. You just do knit two together, and then on the knit row, it's a. You do an increase to compensate, and so you don't get big holes. My knitting is looser, so when I blocked it out, it looks like it's kind of lacy, but if you don't knit as loosely as me, it's just going to look like texture. Love it. And you did Zilber. She I showed did. it last I did. episode. And again, I'm, you did in I'm a tight, weight. tight knitter. So and it was lovely. Yeah. yeah. It's just different the way it shows up. Yeah. That's my FO. Mm -hmm. I have a... We need a, we need a thing for <laughs> deconstructed I'm objects. so glad I'm not Frog. the only sock issue. Okay. So I showed... 
I was so pleased with the new heel that I learned, but it was too loose, so I was going to redo it. This that was only like was that a week ago? and a half ago. No, oh, no, right. a week ago mm -hmm. that we put it up. So just over yeah. a week ago. So I had lots of car time, car time for knitting when we went to the Kitchener show because she drove. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do it again, which I did. And I had it done to the toe decreases when I added in the heel and then I tried it on, still too loose. And I had gone down from 64 to 60 stitches and it was big. And so I started again and this, this yarn, it's biscotte and I think it's just a little tiny bit, it doesn't even look like heavy sock yarn. I don't know what it was, it's me. Um, I was trying with a, a 2.0 needle and it was still looking, the ribbing looked big. It mm -hmm. almost looked like cotton, like it, and it felt different. So I thought, okay, this is this yarn is gonna now be for my son. He'll love the colors. So he I'll make him it. socks because he's not gonna fit's not gonna be an issue. As he's not it. as particular. No, <laughs> not, he may not even wear them. Who knows? But I'll I'll make socks with that. So I am going to um, cast on. It it's not a whip what yet, is that? but this is this. Ooh, what is that? It looks very trippy, doesn't it? It does. What is it? It is. Uh, whimsical wood yarn nice. and I showed it a long time ago on one of our episodes oh, after yeah. I got it yeah the color is bad sheep good wool I love and that. it's her pixie toes I love that you like when you see them wound That's compared her. to skeined she has beautiful colors yes mm -hmm. it was yeah it was really wild so I'm just gonna knit myself some socks in this and I'm gonna do a different colored heel I'm gonna do that same heel but I'm going to do contrasting color, which oh, I don't nice. know what I'm going to do yet. I could pick just about anything, um, which I've never done before either. Oh, you've so done that either. I'm going to oh, do that. A two fur, two fur. And I have this in. I know I have to call my little on the go tote, my the small size that I got from Evertote at that the show. That was awesome, eh? Yeah. So I have that. Oh, cute. That's going to be a whip. You drop a stitch. No, you gotta join. I got to join. No, I hate that. And then I cast on for my second <laughs> oh, wow. stocking cap. Oh, for the um, cap, yeah. For it's going to look like this one. I have some friends. Talk about trippy, dude. That's uh, pretty cool. So I just cast it on it. I need it done for December, but uh, it's just forever knitting. So it's easy, mindless. I could take it anywhere, and I'm going to do that. Work on that. So I started it so I'd have it ready to go if I want to take it anywhere. Um... That's it for whips and FOs. And I should say. Well, kind of. Kind of not. I don't know. I have this one, but it's, I haven't started it yet. Well, okay. We'll okay, talk about it with our Kitchener stuff. So we made, I made bags for our trip to the Kitchener Knitters Fair. We have matching bags. Aww. Put them in. The sheepy bags. Aren't they awesome? They're so cute. I love them. I got this fabric at the Marsh store, and I forget the name of the town that it's in, somewhere, rural. <laughs> it's a beautiful quilting shop. And they had none left on the bolt in this color. They just had a couple of fat quarters. So that's all I bought. That is so our colors though. It is, it's the, the aqua for me and the gray for Lisa. It's perfect. So I think I have enough. There's one more quarter left, and I think I can make us some either notions pouches or probably nice. both notions and needles and something. Oh, so to needle. Yeah. Um, and they're so cute. Um, they have a little cute. progress I, little. Oh, yours is. I have like a whole bunch hanging on okay. there right now. It's a little sheepy. The I sheepy one. sheep. Those are some new ones I got. So this one I did is with the cotton bat. So it's more of a padded feeling mm -hmm. than the interfaced bags. Do you like it? What do you like? You know what? Do you, do you I have like, a preference? I like the these ones. The, the, the padded? The padded ones. I don't know why. I think they're they little, stand up a bit better. They're a little easier in that I don't have to do all the interfacing. Ironing. All ironing. Mm -hmm. um, but then there's like a lot more thickness to go through. Mm -hmm. So I um, this top stitching at the top because it's folded over, mm -hmm. sometimes that's it gets you. tricky because there's a bit of a ridge, so I've learned oh, to just okay. kind of go just inside the ridge. Anyways, that's just a detail. Um, but I do love them. I love it. It's awesome. Yeah. So we'll talk about the um, yeah the status of my Etsy shop at the end. Um, that's it for whips and... and Holy cow, that was foes. fast. Yeah, we so, didn't have much. No, we didn't. Okay. So we went to the Kitchener Show. 
It was awesome. It, it was, was really I really good. liked it. Yeah. We should say it. We should shout out to the boy who, who's got the points. Oh, my husband, who's in Montreal again, <laughs> has had to travel for work a lot uh, more this year. Um, and hopefully that slows down a bit. But he he travels a lot, so he stays um, usually the same. Places, usually yeah. like the Hilton or the Hilton chain, so that he accumulates free stays with the points. So I um, sweet-talked him into letting us have points for a hotel room. Thanks! <laughs> and we stayed at, uh, we booked a hotel for Friday night. Yeah, and so we went, didn't have to get up crazy early. So we didn't have like to get a two-and-a-half-hour drive. Yeah. And I, I have to be there when it opens. Kind of crazy that way. Her she not so much. Even, she even pushed me out of the way so she could get in there before me. <laughs> it was actually no. It was very. It was very it was calm. Fun. Knitters are good line keepers. Don't you think have something very to do? Because don't you have a picture of me knitting in line? You. Do, I do. I yeah. think you Instagram. So we stayed at the hotel, and Christy and Gladys of GC Design, a Canadian Afghan, eh? Um, which we showed on our last podcast. Yep, they came and sat with us. They came the night before too. Visit. Yeah, they stayed at our hotel, so they popped over to our room, and we just hung out for a little while and visited with them. And they were at the fair in the morning, signing, signing and selling their books at the Gemini Fibers booth. And where did we go for food? Because you know the knitting always goes with food. Yeah, we had to have dinner Friday night. We went to what was it called? The Mongolian Grill. The Mongolian Grill, which That's, I haven't been to in years. I know, neither have I. I haven't been there since, good. since we lived there. It was very good. It was good. The fair was at the Kitchener Odd, and last year it's it had it's a double, um, double ice rink. So last yeah. year they had all the booths on one, the level. main level on both ice rinks. But they're getting they're doing construction on the one. There was something, yeah. They couldn't yeah. use the second rink, so they had it on the main like the ice surface of and upstairs rink in one, the hallway, and upstairs around the in the hallway around the, the upper level, um, which was very crowded. Yeah, it was crowded up there. I mean, that was it's kind of their like, micro market. I wish you could have gone in the other way and walked against traffic. Yeah, because the main entrance, yeah. when you go in, first enter and they scan your tickets, you go in at the upper level where all the micro market is into these narrow hallway all the way around the arena yeah. with the tables of the, like the smaller tables instead of the big booths. And it was so packed. And um, I feel for the vendors that were out there because yeah, it was so crowded um, you could pretty only get much get about four bodies in front of a table, like, yeah. and most of them just had a table. So it, I didn't even visit some of the booths because it, there were too many people, and I thought, well, I'll come back later, and then I forgot. I went back. I went back up after. I didn't go to everything though. I went. I, I skipped some. So I, I feel looked bad. At, I looked at. I looked at pretty much all of them. Yeah, I looked as I went by, but I oh, wanted yeah. to get in and examine some a little bit more, and I didn't. And it was terrible lighting. So a lot of them had their own, you know, little clamp yeah, lights and stuff. Lights. But it still wasn't as nice and bright as it was down on the main Oh, well, it's funny. Do you remember when we were, we were there for an hour and all of a sudden the, lights, the lights went on? on. <laughs> and everyone cheered. <laughs> yeah. So it was just industrial yeah. lights. They have to warm, they up. warm up. So, yeah. But otherwise, I mean, yeah, those are just technical things and I, I'm i sure next year was, hopefully they'll go Overall, back. it was a really good show. It was show. a great I, show. It was really, it was good. Yeah. Um, the yeah. nice thing about it being in the arena is that on the arena floor anyways, that was, yes. there's a lot of space. There was a lot of space, but you know what else is funny is I find sometimes when you go to these shows with all those bodies and everything, it gets so hot. Mm -hmm. And this Woodstock year, gets hot. yes, and this year they actually had the ice in. So it, it, it wasn't was, cold. It wasn't it was cold. Just right. It wasn't cold on your feet, but it was um, just right. It was cool. Yeah. But I remember picking up that one kit, and it was the, on the floor, and it was cold. <laughs> it was like. Feel yeah. this, feel but this. I wasn't cold. So, no, I, I was. Just, no, I was in a shirt. I wasn't cold, yeah. and I was just in running shoes and a t-shirt. Yeah. But it was so, a yeah. good show. So it was, it was good. I had no specific plans when we went there. Um, I wanted to see the Fiber Friends booth, we got to see them. and we did. That's actually kind of the first place we really stopped. So I showed you the little mini on the go tote from Evertote, Yay, and that's Caroline Evertote. and her sister in law Kathy that make these. That was very nice to meet the other half of Evertote. It was nice to meet Kathy. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. yes, and yeah. she also has a podcast. Mm -hmm. Knitteration. I'm yep. going to post it here. It's knitteration. Um, her and her daughter just started it, and it's really sweet. I started watching it, and I love it. Um, it's their knitting, their adventures in knitting and crafting. Nice. And then I bought a skein of Old Oak Yarns by Adrian, And their color's doing that's pretty a, good. That's an exclusive, isn't it? This was her colorway for the show. So I don't know if she's going to continue dyeing it. She had some left after the show, and they're in her Etsy shop. 
So it's old oak yarns. And this was called Vintage Vineyard. Perfect name, and I love it. That is beautiful. I there's think no blue in it. There's no blue in it. Oh my goodness. I know. There's no purple either. I just love these these fall, I like the way they like move muted together. Muted colors. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. So I don't know what this is gonna be. I thought maybe socks, but I think these colors go with my neighbor's garden, which I bought previously. And so look Oh at it that. does, look at that. It's the same tones. It's mm -hmm. just that this is speckled, but the same green, and you can't really see it. There you go. You can pick up those olive greens. Uh, trust me, they're the same. And I, I could do something with both of these. I don't know what. The, the possibilities are endless. Because you bought something from them too. I did too. Um, we have our shawl knit along going on right now. And it's, I bought, I know you're all going to be surprised, gray. And it's kind of an ode to my dad because my dad only drinks Earl Grey tea and that is what this is called. Did she dye this for you? Earl, no, she didn't. She has two uh, still on her Etsy shop that I was thinking of going to get, but I only need two skeins to You're do. You're still holding it. we got to go to this oh, side. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Nice. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. I love the tonal. So, and you got two of them. I got two, but I just wanted to show the difference when you, like when you bought. Like, there. Yeah. When you cake them and when you... So yeah, Very it's kind of nice. neat. That's beautiful. And I've decided I'm going to make the birch sap. <laughs> Say that ten times fast with a mouthful of crackers. Yeah, so. Birch sap. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Bye, Jenny, Jenny Faithful. Yeah, she usually goes by Jenny F on Jenny the Ballory. Is it free or paid for? Paid for. Paid for. Love, it. Love it. Is love this it. is this a fingering or is it her sock? That's her sock. Yep. Her that's sock is so soft. That, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't even, and it's, the colors are so pretty, I don't even want to use them. I mean, socks. I'm not really, I know you're supposed to worry about gauge, but with the elements yeah. for the shawl, I'm not worried because I have an overabundance you of you could yardage. You make that shawl, you could keep going and make it longer yeah. if you want. So yeah. basically I have an overabundance of yarn and mm -hmm. I'm not really particular on exactly how big it shows up. Okay. So yeah, that was I fun. did a few other things. I, I picked up some buttons at... A B originals. Now there's no website or Etsy shop mentioned on his card. But you know what? He's at all the shows. I'll put his email he's, on the he's screen. He's often at the knitting shows. He's yeah. at he'll be at Woodstock. He's at Woodstock. And I've seen him before, I just haven't bought anything. So these are natural naturally these are the made whole, but, oops, buttons. The holes there. Mm -hmm. I bought a couple of antler buttons from him last year. And this one. And I bought a couple of those. So this is made from it's like a pine cone off of... It's like a nut from Ecuador. Yeah, he explained it, it to me, but then I couldn't look it up because he didn't have a Facebook page or anything. But it's it look, he showed me it, and it looks like a great big pine cone, and then he just cross-sections it, and uh, I imagine sands it, and they're beautiful. I just... I'm, I was thinking of making like a shawl, some kind of a shawl closure, not necessarily a permanent button, but mm -hmm. like you've done it with ribbon where you can just tie yep, it. Yep, yep. So I got those. Is it a tag tagu nut? That would it, I don't remember because he pronounced it and oh, I didn't see it written. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just yarn, yarn, yarn. So, <laughs> oh, yarn, yarn, yarn. This oh, was my yarn, yarn. <laughs> find of the day. I was hoping to find a sock blank that I kind of fell in love with, and I did. Look at this. It's, it's wild. It's got teal and navy and like rusty. You know what? That doesn't look like your usual colors. It's gorgeous. I love it. I just love, I don't, I just, maybe I could just wear it as a scarf. <laughs> it's not knit with it. Ta-da! Because it's going to do totally different things if I make socks I know, but it'll be cool. This is by Bling Your String. And I'll put info on the screen. And the colorway is called Where Are My Keys? And she Story tells you. Story my life, where are my keys? How many times do you look for these things a day? When you knit off these, you could wind it and then knit, but where's the fun in that? I don't want to destroy this beautiful See, I would like scarf. to see it. I would like to see it wound. Oh, I'm going to buy your own. <laughs> <laughs> buy your own and wind it. So she tags it at the bottom, and this is the end that you unravel from, and you can, oh, and then it okay. will unravel properly. If you do okay. it from the other end, it won't. It won't. Okay, so that's cool. She tells you that, that's and awesome. she puts the tag there, so don't take that mm -hmm. off if you get um, a yarn uh, sock blank. Mm -hmm. um, and it was interesting because I saw, I didn't see as many sock blanks as I thought there would be. Because I think they're picking up in popularity. I think it's one of those things you either get it or you don't. 
Well, there were a couple of ladies. Um, My mother didn't know what it was. Yeah, and there were a couple of ladies yeah. in a booth that were looking at it and. Well, it's already knit, and you know, didn't and I. So I explained to them. Well, you, I see one lady. It's I just heard a method of dying. It's not finished at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of like, <laughs> yeah, they thought it was a knit scarf. It's just yeah. a different method of dying, and some people do very beautiful paintings, and some people just um, dye them. Like, you know, you can dye them tonal, whatever you want. But I love it. I'm really happy with this one, and I, so I'm going to make socks with this for our for October Socktober. Okay, we'll talk about that yeah. later. Yeah, I'm going to... Now, this is gonna, I'm on gonna Bling Your Strain, yeah. I want to mention this. What Her name's Erin, is it? What's her name again? It's not on here. It's not on here, but um, I talked to her because I have a... I have a cat who is a monster. Monster, monster, monster. He loves yarn, and he's now learned how to undo zippers. He's just... And then he looks at you with this cute little face, and you can't resist. But he... um. I want bells for my knitting. Mm. I know it drives you crazy when I knit with them sometimes. No, no, no. No, it doesn't. They don't jingle when you're knitting. They don't knitting, jingle really. very much. They make a little mm. bit of noise. But what happens is... you drop is... them on the floor when we're podcasting. <laughs> well, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but what happens is when my cat gets my knitting, it, it, the bell goes off. So I was trying to explain this to her, and she, she thought it was a great idea. She thought it was really funny. So she's actually looked up, and she's found a bunch. She's going to send me pictures when they get Oh, in. good. So yeah. she's sourcing some little bell charms. She is. Little, charms. Bell, little bell charms. Awesome. So those of you who have cats who like knitting... Get on. some bells, cause it, yeah, but yeah. No, thank you for looking it up. I appreciate it getting gonna, back to me. I love it. I'm just gonna wear it. <laughs> I love it. Look at the colors. There love it. Go. Okay. Um, I wanted to and did stop at Dyed by Lindsay's booth. I have bought from her at Woodstock the last two years. She'll be at Woodstock. She too. will be at Woodstock again. Um, this is her. This is one of them. Dyed by Lindsay. That one's pretty. Yeah. It's kind of washed. Like it's, it's like a, it's lavender. It's lavender and cream. And I love it. I love purple. Likes purple. In addition to the aqua, I love purple. I love a lot of colors. I, I mostly don't love orange. But other than that, I love a lot of colors. I like orange. Mm. It's shocky one day. And knit this doesn't have shirt. a color name. And I'm not sure all of hers do. So I can't tell you a colorway, but it's dyed by Lindsay. We'll put her um, I like that one. deets it's pretty. up on the screen. Yeah, that one has something. That's this one is called Jubilee. Oh, look at that. Oh, I forgot to say. Wait. Okay. So this is... Slow down. <laughs> Merino cashmere nylon. Woo. Triple threat. Ooh. Merino cashmere nylon. Feel. Nice, right? Oh, we need feel of vision Yeah. Can you imagine coming out with feel of vision Ooh. This is... Okay, so then I bought That's Jubilee soft. colorway in her St. Lawrence sock base which is 100% merino but it's quite high twist um I actually do want to make socks with this so I don't know if I'm going to do add nylon to it or what but there's blues teals they're not coming out here you can kind of see them back here some of the blues and teals and green there's a bit of green in there and the rest it's kind of similar look at that it's very similar something about I'm these seeing colors a pattern over there something about these colors on the weekend you know what it's fall I think that's what it is. And I'm getting sucked into the dark color vortex. So it's not usually you. That's me. So what else? Dyed by Lindsay. Oh, I was just going to say, I bought her yarn before, and I actually, this is my Raina shawl that I made with her, one of her yarns. The first skein I ever bought. Nice. So it's very nice yarn. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you, Lindsay. Oh, and she always throws in little extras. There's a little bag with some tags. Oh, those are pretty. They're little gift tags. And then on the back, it's got some care instructions. You know what? I've started putting those on those all my cute. knitting. Like oh, these I big do, tags. Yeah. So Because then I can put the washing instructions. So she throws those in. A little few little things of tea. So mm -hmm. sweet. And she also gives Yay, a written... Just some care instructions if you haven't. Do you know what I like though? I'm I was yarn. reading this and it basically says, Thank you for supporting an independent. Mm -hmm. Your purchase is appreciated. Need to contact me and it's got her email. Yeah. So that's kind of nice. It's on all our yeah. is it on all our cards? Yep. Well, it's on those two. So yeah. It's only on the one I got before. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I like her yarn. She's it's always a nice booth to visit. Mm -hmm. And I'm almost done. This Caught sure. my this like sure. tractor beamed me into the booth. Actually, that was funny because you did kind of. I know you were with me. I was like, oh. she's like, look at that, and she's gone. There were a lot of bright yeah. colors. It almost looked hedgehoggy for a minute, just because all the bright colors. But it looks kind of doggy. It's, it's it's brighter than it's. Oh, there that. 
Mm. It's kind of showing no, how not it's even still showing not how bright, bright it is. Very Sorry. bright aqua with it's all really kinds pretty. of really, lovely really nice. speckles. Yeah, a little bit of everything in here. Love it. Oh, look at that. Yeah. I know. Socks. This will be socks. And Very this cool. is long dog yarn. Mm hmm. And I didn't look up where they're from. Bermuda shorts. <laughs> I the love it. It's called Bermuda shorts. Bermuda shorts. It is. Those are the colors of Bermuda shorts, Bounce too. Bounce socks, 75% merino, 25 nylon, 463 yards. You know what I mean? Like the, remember the little plaid ones from the 80s? Yeah. That's what it Bermuda reminds shorts. me of. That is so cool. So I got this at Needle Emporium. Yay, at their booth. Julie. She's um, awesome. And I've never seen Long Dog Yarn before, so nope. she's carrying it. And she also goes to Woodstock. She does. Yeah. She does. She has a pretty yeah. big I'm sure she'll be in bringing this. Yeah. So I'm really. I love that she that. does all those kits and stuff there. She does a lot of kits. She has a lot of samples made up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's great. It's a great store, and her booth is usually really good. Okay, I went to this booth, and I couldn't decide. Okay, this is the cozy knitter. Okay, <laughs> she has a podcast called Die Another Day, which I checked out. It's good. Yeah, um, yeah and I. I Sorry, I'm forgetting the name of the other her co-host who also dyes yarn. Okay. And I just Cozy I'm, I'm blanking on it. They said it on the podcast, but I'll put it on our screen so you can check out their podcast as well. And all of her yarns. That's the one you bought? I would have thought you went for one of those crazy bright ones. No, you I are feeling it's all girl. It's friend. black. It's striping. So there's black and then colors. So it's, it's really like pretty, rainbow yeah, black. Be striped. Rainbow with Pretty-pretty. black. And then there was different options for the single, for the, the contrast. Maybe I'll do these then can with you, the contrast heel. Can you do the, use that one with your other one? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, but I'm going to do it with this. You have enough there to do two sets of toes and heel. I do? You should. Maybe I'll do these for our, first. for October, for yeah. October. You can do those, and then if you have extra, you can use it on the and other And then one. I can just do vanilla. Mm -hmm. And it would also be neat to see what the stripes do on the heel. Mm -hmm. But I like the idea of the contrast heel. I so like the all contrast of heel. her... All her entire booth, and I, maybe this is all she does. I've just heard about her. Is sock yarn, combos like that? Combos sock yeah. yarn and a contrast color. Mm -hmm. um, the Christmas ones were very popular. There was one called Gingerbread House that disappeared uh, yeah. pretty quick. Pretty quick. Yes, she also had a white and teal one, mm -hmm. and she had a. She had about. She had the. She had a lot. She had the charcoal yellow and white. That was really I love pretty. The, like a Grello combo. Yeah, that was so really beautiful. Beautiful. I don't know if she's going to Woodstock. But um, I hope she is. But if not, we'll put her store location Please, and everything. We might be able there. to make a decision by then. I know I could have bought so many. I know. So I got one of those. So um, at the show. That, oh, that's not all I bought. <laughs> that's all that's on the table. Oh, okay, I have a problem. Hello, my name's Dawn. Right. It's been a week since I bought yarn. No, it's as even been a week. A week. <laughs> <laughs> Six days. Um. We, well, okay, she was a brand new friend to us on Saturday, um, Caroline, who is a friend of the oh, Fiber wow. Friends. I met her at the show, and... We were having lunch at the time. We were having lunch in our truck, and I was supposed to meet up with her because I was bringing a skein of yarn for her mm -hmm. from Sarnia, and... Um, I had just showed Lisa a picture of her on Instagram. That was and I, funny because that was within seconds. I showed her the picture and I said, okay, look at this sweater. She was wearing a hand knit um, fade. Fade, fade sweater. I said, check out this sweater. We have to watch for her when we go back in. And I said, like that one right there? It was just walk by. walking by the truck. <laughs> so I, I, I yelled out the window, Caroline. <laughs> she didn't know who we were yet. So she came over and we were just asking her what she bought. And she had, she says something about um, Mineville. And I kind of <gasps> perked up. Mineville? Where'd you get that? You should explain what Mineville is. Mineville Yarn. So Mineville Yarn Project. You have like a whole bunch of baskets around Shh. here. Mineville Wool Project. <laughs> we don't talk about what happens if the podcast stays in place. The Mineville Wool Project, it's by... What happens like in the office. Like Handmaiden. Who does Handmaiden? Handmaiden. Yeah. Handmaiden Fleece Artist. Handmaiden Fleece of, uh, Artist. Uh, out east. Out east in Canada. Mm -hmm. They, my understanding is they buy up a huge lot of yarn and then they'll dye a bunch of colorways and then they put it out there. And because they buy such a massive quantity, it's a very low price point. 
Um, so people snap it up when they can get it. But you can't get it again. It's very hard to, yeah, and you, you probably won't get the same again. colors again. Yeah. Um, they'll do it again, but they do these just project-based dyes. It kind of seems like it's a science project for them. I was, it just, do you know what I mean? Like, because mm -hmm. they can try different colors that they don't have in their normal That's line. True. Right? Yeah. So, and they can see what people like and how it looks. And, yeah. Yeah. So, my understand, I had heard about this, and my understanding was that, you know, when it, when it comes out, it disappears very quickly, and it's hard to get. Um, you got that at Linda's Craftique. Linda's Craftique. So that's what Caroline said. That she picked it up at Linda's Craftique. And so she normally has a lot of She carries it, apparently. Yeah. Please, sorry. Yeah. I've never been to her store. Oh. Road so, trip! So at this point, it was like <laughs> 1 o'clock, and I thought, okay, there'll be nothing left. She must have had a boatload of it because there was some left. So I got some. So this is... Do they have color names? I don't even know if they do. Mm. Okay. Merino 8020, Merino Nylon. It's very nice feeling. $16. Like it costs That's more to, good. it costs more to talk about it. $16. <laughs> 16 bucks. So I got here, let me hold the bag. Two of those. <laughs> I I I it may be a gift for someone. A shawl out of that. And then I got this just cuz actually this is going to be some Christmas knitting, I think. So I got these really bright bold colors love it this is gonna be Christmas knitting for a young lady I know oh, who's that one? not yours a different one no, I, I can't say what if they ever watch I like uh, this one I, this is for me you can't take it it's black and there's almost like rose, rose gold topes rose yeah, gold a little bit of gold it's pretty Brownie gold I opened up the skeins because I really wanted a lot of the rows in there. So I actually opened up the skeins and, and picked one. They were all pretty consistent. So I did buy $16. I, mind boggling. So I've got Christmas yarn, Christmas knitting to do. Nice. And that was it. Uh, I didn't buy these at the Kitchener show. This doesn't count. I bought these, I, oh, well technically I had to pay for them. I ordered these quite a while ago. Also, fleece artist, <laughs> National Parks Collection. This is Banff. And this is in the single ply merino base. You got two. Oh, I got two of them. Love it. It's beautiful. What is it you're going to make? I don't know. I just love it. It's gorgeous with the splash of aqua. It's like a... And there's some gray and it... Really if you ever need to explain this to my husband, tell him it's like collecting hockey cards. My husband doesn't collect hockey cards. Mine did when he was younger, so. It would be the Except equivalent. Except for mine are, I don't know. Uh, Garage stuff, tools. Tools. <laughs> <laughs> so, they ha I got these from Little Red Mitten in St. Thomas. They have not been able to keep these in stock when the National Parks Collection comes in. So they were taking orders. orders yeah. If you wanted something, they were going to put your order in with their order. Mm -hmm. So that way you'd be sure to get it. So they came in. Um, about two weeks ago, and then a friend of ours picked them up for me when she was there. Yay! So, very happy about that. Love them. That's it. I got these. I'm covering up. I keep this top is kind of low, and I keep uh, <laughs> fidgeting because of the cleavage. I can see like the cleavage, so I'm just gonna. Are you gonna edit that out, or is everybody gonna hear my cleavage? <laughs> well, they can see it. <laughs> it's not like it's a secret. I bought something non yarn. My mom bought these for me, and they're non-yarn, and they came in this cute little tube. Yay. Little snips. And they're just little snips. <clears throat> Excuse me. You little snips. Keep, they're very no, cute. I like them. I just keep them in the tube. You'd have to keep them in the tube yeah. for safety. But there's kind of a funny story, because my mom surprised me at the Kitchener show. Thanks, Mom. And it was really nice to see her. And so we went around, and she ended up buying those, and we shopped around and did some more. And Dawn went to see the Lily Chin presentation oh that's what else I did so we're sitting there and we go and visit Dawn because she I spent time with my mom and we're sitting there I'm like oh check these out check these out so we give her the tube and Ta Dawn is looking and she's like these are cute and she just opens it and she says oh did you they? take them out where are they <laughs> <laughs> we had grabbed the sample tube <laughs> with that beginning yeah, that was the funny good thing. Good there. thing that your mom showed them to it's me. It's so we, true, I tried right? to open it because you would have gone home yeah, without with it. an empty tube. So yeah, we got those at Shall We Knits. Nice. And Waterloo. Shall We Knit. 
Yeah, they're by Coco Knits. She's got some nice little toys to go with your knitting. Neat. Oh, that's why this looks familiar. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? It, yeah, it's Coco I've Knits. I've seen, I think it's a little round yep. box with my little metal stitch, stitch markers. markers. Yes. That's, I'm like, this too, this packaging and something about it is yep. familiar. That's what it is. She, is also, she also has a leather strip that has a needle on the end to hold spare. You know how they say, put stitches on spare yep. yarn? It's basically it does that, and the leather is supposed to hold the stitches, and it's supposed to not. Um, it's grippier. It's grippier, but it's also wider than most yarn. Okay. So sometimes, if you don't use the same thickness of yarn, your stitches, for lack of a better description, collapse. Right. Right. So it keeps them because it, it keep pulls them and then they yeah. kind of get small. And then when you go to put your needle back in, it's harder. You have to fight. So these yeah. are supposed to stop. That. Awesome. So it's, I'd be interested to see. If Did, you didn't get those. that. I didn't get those. No. But, they, but she makes them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did I did go and see the Lily Chin presentation, mm -hmm. which was really interesting. It was just all about her career, her development as a designer, um, sort of coming up in the garment and fashion industry, and um, just her story. She was very interesting. She's been through a lot and done a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and she was teaching classes on the Sunday, but we didn't. No, we, we, didn't. we came back home Saturday night. We did go for dinner again. Yeah, dinner Saturday after the show with the Fiber Friends. Yes, that so, was fun. That Adrian, was really Caroline, fun. and Louise, and mm. our we new met. friend Caroline, and our new friend Heidi, and our new friend Heidi, who is a stitching podcaster, and her and Caroline met through stitching, and I started watching their podcast too. They're pretty funny. They're interesting. They're it's interesting. neat. They do beautiful work. Yes. I um, my eyes go cross-eyed thinking about it. Yeah, I did cross stitch what? years ago, <laughs> like twenty years ago, a long time ago. Um, You're not, not that old. You can't have done it that when long I was ago. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I didn't even come close to what they are doing, but I do. Oh. I uh, I can appreciate the work because I have done <laughs> much simpler projects. Okay, we are. Oh, quickly, our knit along winners. All everything's been mailed out. Yes. Our mailed apologies out. to Siobhan in the UK. And Verena in Germany, because unfortunately, despite the airmail sticker on it, it's still going to take six to eight weeks. I don't know. Hmm. So I think a goose is flying <laughs> it over. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, that, that otherwise it would have been $40 to send it. So we did get those sent out this week, and they're, and they're on their way. And congratulations again, and thank you for supporting us and watching us. Okay. We are going to do, we have the shawl knit along going on right now the fall shawl knit along till the end of October so your did you start I started this September 2nd yay both of them or this, this one. one okay so I that one that, counts yeah. this one counts the next one counts this one counts and I have to do that one my that silver one counts. counts yay and I am going to start another one which I do plan on finishing. do you know what's funny we did this shawl the fall shawl I wanted to do it because I don't have shawls yeah you are a <laughs> shawl making machine I have these two. Someone turned on the shawl switch in her. And I and have it, two more that I, I've done shawl. four in the last little like bit. a month. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing you knit fast. Although you're doing very... Shawls are fast. Like, especially if it's like a one yeah. skein. They're really quick. I'm not into lace weight. I don't think I will ever do a lace weight. I see that skinny, skinny stuff. Lace, and even... It's like... Oh. Yeah, lace weight. Yeah. I, I think I prefer fingering. Yeah. I know that some of the girls that I see doing lace weight do some beautiful yeah. beautiful things but yeah no not for you no so I'm we've with, got you I'm doing shawls finger, fingering let's just like you. you're doing shawls that's good mm -hmm. let's not jinx it no I'd like to do actually one thing I think would be kind of neat is doing a shawl that's designed for fingering or designed for lace and a thicker just see what it looks like yeah like that you know, like this and you can do that it's yeah. just that make sure you have enough Yard, yardage. if you don't know what's going to happen with the yeah. with the yardage, right? Because you're yeah. really, so, oh, yeah. And and it's <clears throat> it would be good to choose a design where you can add on, yeah. Because it it because you can make it shorter, or you can make yeah, yeah. You don't know what's going to yeah. happen, so yeah. If you've got so, the mm -hmm. yarn to play with, so what else? We are thinking of doing, as we mentioned a few times, the um, something for October. So we call that Socktober around our our neck of the woods. I think everyone does, but our yarn shop is doing Socktoberfest and they're going to be doing some sock classes that's heaven is handmade mm -hmm. so if you're in our area in Sarnia um, if you haven't seen their newsletter or their Facebook page they are offering some sock classes 
They usually have a sale on sock yarn mm -hmm. throughout the month of October. Yeah. And we're going to do a sock knit along. For the I'm going to try October. again. And it's going to be start and finish <laughs> in the month of October, one pair of adult socks. Okay. You're going to do it again. I'm going to do it Yay. again. You can do it. I can do it. I just. That's why I think maybe I'll do the self striping because then mm -hmm. they'll be quick. So, I like the self striping like that because it's kind of neat because you have, instead of saying, oh, one more round, oh, just one more color. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have to finish the stripe. <laughs> right. Um, so we're going to do that. There'll be more details provided. Uh, we'll podcast at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. But we are going to do that. So I hope you'll join us. And um, we were talking about giveaways for that. Yes. And thinking, well, maybe some sock yarn because it's sock related. Um, yes, that would be We have good. some ideas on giveaways. And so I was messaging Lisa saying, hey, hey let's do oh, this sock knit God, along. no. <laughs> I hate, I hate typing on my cell phone. Actually, I just hate, it's so slow. Okay, can I read it? And I have, just wait, I have a screen, I have a screen guard, like a glass thing on top of my screen, right? So some of the letters I have to really press and I hate doing it. So I use dictation a lot. Oh my God. And when you're the one, when you're the one who said it, your brain reads what you said. Like I, I glance at it and I do check, but if you ever are texting me and you get something really that doesn't make sense, I hope you're fluent in typo because you need to be with me. Okay, so God. she sent me this thing about sock yarn. Oh, change. Well, that. I just that's just part of it. So basically it says, you know, sock yarn, blah blah blah, and we should do that, and that would be, you know. So sock yarn would be, you know, sock yarn would be a good fit for a giveaway. So it says that would be a good fit. And suck urine is something everyone loves. <laughs> suck urine. <laughs> so I am at home by myself. Uh, you're reading this. And I'm reading this and I am laughing. I am, a, I, I was worse than this. And I'm laughing and I'm laughing and I'm laughing. So I sent her back a text. I said, I don't normally, normally I'm pretty good in typo. But I'm wondering if this, if you've read, this, you read this and you really need to read this. I did look at it. So she reads it, and yes. I'm oh not getting God. anything from her. I'm not getting anything from her. So I call her up, and the woman that answers the phone can barely talk to me. That was hysterical. Because she's laughing. Suck so urine. Oh, Suck my. urine is something everybody loves. <laughs> oh, my. Well, I, this has happened to me before on my phone. When I say yarn, oh. it writes urine. Because I told someone I was going to a urine show. But I caught that <laughs> one and sent another text saying, yarn, yarn show. Not urine show. Oh. Okay, so um Oh my god, that's so funny. We're doing a sock knit along. Not a suck ear knit along. <laughs> and everybody oh. not everybody loves socks, but definitely more people love socks than love sucking urine. <laughs> okay, so Oh my god. <laughs> On that note we should end it. <laughs> so that's gonna be our, our next oh, um, yeah. knit along. That was funny. Oh, <laughs> That was just, oh. <laughs> My bag shop. My bag shop is almost ready. I have been sewing and I have. She hasn't been coming out to play. Bags done. We're going to stop this episode here and then I'll record a separate little mini episode so that I can get this edited and uploaded um, because I still have to do all the listings and write out the listings. I did my photographs yesterday um, but just in case, timing-wise, I don't have that ready for another day or two. Um, so s stay tuned. Watch the podcast. Um, subscribe. Keep an eye on us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram because when I do have it ready to, to launch, I will announce the video on Instagram and then you can watch the little mini podcast and um, find out all about the I'm finding that Ravelry or Instagram is the best way to get a hold of us. Yeah. Yeah. The, the messaging in YouTube, it, like... When you make an account on YouTube, you have to use an email account, so it mm -hmm. goes there, but it you can't reply to that email, and I think to message someone back privately, you have to subscribe to them. I don't think you can message them if you haven't. Yeah. Anyways, it's it's a little tricky, so just message us. You can private message on Instagram or mm -hmm. on Ravelry, um, yeah, or just say, hey, get in touch, <laughs> and we'll call you or message you. So our friends, a quick update on our friends Gladys and Christy yep. of GC Designs and the writers of a Canadian Afghan A pattern book. They had a really good 
show at Kitchener. Kitchener. Mm -hmm. Their books are now at Gemini Fibers. Gemini Fibers is carrying them and they have a website. So if you're yeah. anywhere, you can order through Gemini Fibers website. And Little Red Mitten in St. Thomas carries them. Do they have them yet? They do. Oh, nice. Yeah, they got yeah. them this week. And they have one of the sample Afghans there as oh, well. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and lots handmade. of yarn choices. And Heaven is Handmade here in Sarnia, yeah. of course, oh, yeah. is, is carrying their books. And by the time you see this, I don't think it'll be up on, online in time. But on tomorrow for us, which is Saturday the 16th, they're doing a book launch at Heaven is Handmade. Um, but Heaven is Handmade will have the books. So yep. you can pop into the store and pick them up. They'll um, also mail them. They will mail them out, so you can phone them, yep. and they'll ship it out to you. If you want to get a hold of Gladys and Christy, mm -hmm. they are on Facebook, GC Designs. They are on Instagram, GC Designs 2017. Their email address is gcdesigns2017 at outlook.com. And if any of that fails, you can always reach us. Um, we're meeting them for coffee this afternoon. We have an in. We know how to get a hold of them. So really, it's a beautiful pattern book. Um, and you don't have to be in into afghans. We mentioned before, you could put something on a pillow. It'd be great for um, cabin knits. Mm -hmm. You know, do a, do a pillow, uh, a yeah. throw. You could make, yeah, do whatever you want. They're beautiful. Beautiful. So congratulations, ladies. I think it's going well for you, and we're really happy for you. Very happy. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, and I awesome. think that's it. That's it. Yeah. Wow, so that was pretty good. Yeah. So I'll try and get that uh, Etsy shop up and running ASAP. Perfect. All right. I can't wait. Okay. Can't Thanks. Wait. We'll talk to you probably in about two weeks. Bye everyone. Suck your in. <laughs> you comfy there? Am I taking up all your space? Not much room on the bench for you. I can hear you purring.